Hi and welcome. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are my favorite tips for working with a crop tool in Photoshop. First, I can tap the C key in order to automatically select the crop tool. Photoshop automatically displays the crop marquee around the image. However, instead of dragging a handle to resize the crop, when you first access the crop tool, you can simply click and drag directly within the canvas in order to define your crop. Now to make adjustments to the crop, we can drag within the crop in order to reposition it. We can drag a handle in order to resize it, or we can drag outside of the crop marquee and we can rotate it. Now we can also use the straighten option while cropping an image. We can either select it from the toolbar or we can hold the command key on Mac or the control key on Windows and then click and drag in the image area in order to rotate. To reset the rotation, we can double click on the straighten icon. To nudge the position of a crop, we can use the arrow keys and we can add the shift key to nudge it in larger increments. Now to apply the crop, we can either double click inside of the crop marquee or we can click on the check icon here or simply select another tool. After applying a crop, Photoshop automatically hides the crop marquee even though the crop tool is still selected. If you want to use the crop tool again, simply click in the image area to display the crop marquee. If you crop an image, but you want to retain the information that's beyond the crop marquee, we can uncheck the delete cropped pixels option. Now when I apply the crop, Photoshop will convert the background into a layer and hold on to that extra information. Then I can tap V to select the move tool and reposition the information within the canvas as I need to. When I'm finished editing my image, I can delete information that extends beyond the canvas in order to help reduce the size of the document, although it does take away a little bit of the flexibility. To do this, I would choose Select All, and then Image and Crop. There is one exception, and that's when you're working with smart objects. With smart objects, information or content that extends beyond the canvas area will not be permanently cropped. All right, let me use Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows to deselect, and then I'm going to revert this image. I'll tap C to select the crop tool and drag out another crop. If I want to hide the information that's outside of the crop marquee, I can tap the H key to toggle its visibility, or I can use the forward slash key. If I need to crop to a specific aspect ratio, I can select that from the list. And if I need to exchange the width and height, I can click on the double arrows here or just tap the X key. Now, if I want to crop and resize the image at the same time, then instead of selecting an aspect ratio, I'll choose width, height, and resolution. I'll enter in 10 by eight at 300 pixels per inch and then resize as well as reposition the crop. When I apply this crop, we can see in the status bar that it's exactly eight by 10 inches at 300 pixels per inch. All right, let's use Command Z on Mac, Control Z on Windows in order to undo that. And to remove the values, I'll click on the clear button. Now, if I wanted to crop two images to the exact same size, I can go ahead and crop this first image, and then from the pull-down menu, select Front Image. This puts those exact values in the width, height, and resolution. I can then move to a second image, reposition and resize the crop, and when I apply it, Photoshop will automatically make it the exact same size. All right, let's click Clear again in order to clear those values and I'll use Command or Control Z in order to undo that. Now, if I wanna use the Crop tool to add canvas to an image, I'll first want to convert the background into a layer by clicking on the lock icon. Then I'll click in the image area to display the crop and extend it beyond the canvas. When I apply the crop, we can see that Photoshop has added the canvas to this image and it's transparent because I was working on a layer. If I hadn't converted the layer into a background, then Photoshop would have filled the added canvas area with my background color. 
All right, again, I'll use Command or Control Z in order to undo that. Click in the image area to show the crop handles again. And this time I'll drag out a little bit of canvas to the bottom portion as well as to the right side of the image. If I want to have Photoshop create information to fill this extended canvas area with computer generated content, then I can enable the content aware option. And when I apply the crop, Photoshop will fill that area. All right, if I want to display a different overlay, we can choose one from the different overlay options, or we can cycle through them by just tapping the O key. In addition, I can choose to have Photoshop auto show the overlay, in which case it's only going to show the overlay when the mouse is down. Or we can have it always show the overlay or never show the overlay. Finally, if I ever need to reset the crop tool, I can right click on the crop icon and choose reset tool. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.